This is a 2015 Polaris Ranger 900. Um, it's a crew, but <clears throat> it was spitting and sputtering. You could barely get it to run. Um, it quit out in the woods and they had to tow it back. Um, just generally looking, I went underneath the seat, go pull the seat up. This pan comes out. Uh, here's your fuel pump pickup assembly. This cap was loose and there's a bunch of water and stuff on there. So water had gotten in there. So I had water in. And what I did is I just connected off this side to the fuel rail and I turned the key on and it pumped. It pumped into like a glass jar and there's water in it. So I took it apart, cleaned the tank, which here was sticks and all kinds of stuff in there. Um, and I got it running. But as it ran, it started, it was running erratic and got worse and worse. And I had it at about 38 PSI when I first did it. And it, as it ran more, it quit on me. Um, this is where I'm at now. When I pump it up to like from nothing, it loses pressure easy and it doesn't build pressure either. Um, so I'll show you, I'll start it up. Typically these, these systems run anywhere from 38 to 60 PSI. Um, so if you're anything, really anything below 38, you got a weak fuel pump. And this one's obviously weak. Um, these are known to have, you know, pressure regulator problems and stuff too. But considering that, you know, it dies this hard off, I think it's a fuel pump problem. I think the, the water, getting the water and everything through the fuel pump was just a nail in the coffin. I can cycle the key too, and um, it doesn't change pressure. So you know you got a fuel pump issue. So if if you have, you know, if it's intermittent running, it'll run okay, and then all of a sudden it'll start stuttering, and it can't even take off, then that's definitely your issue. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and order a fuel pump. I'll probably just order the pump and take the, the pickup assembly apart myself, put the pump in, because it's so much cheaper. But I hope this helps you guys out as far as diagnosing. Um, you always do have to check, make sure you have power to your source here. Under here you have a fuel pump um, fuse right here. And you also have a fuel pump relay. Those are things to check too. You can swap them around. Check that first. Make sure you got power to there. And then check pressure. If you don't have one of these inline pressures um, that I do, there is a pressure check port right here that a typical auto one will fit on. It's the bigger, like the old style. It's a bigger style. It's not like your typical Schrader valve size. You can check pressure like that. You can go borrow one from like an auto parts store, check that. Um, but I have a definitely a fuel pump pressure issue. And <clears throat> when I would get on it and get on the gas and let off, it back pop. That's a sign of being lean. So um, just, I hope this helps anybody out to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions in the comments, see if we can help you out. Thank you.